Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a simple test to determine whether or not the standard 5 forward 3 reverse trolling motor speed switch is working on your trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the setup for this test. I'm going to be using a 12 volt 46 pound thrust Newport Vessels trolling motor and then as a power source I'm going to be using a 12 volt battery and the electrical connections are going to be made with those alligator clips that you see there and it also has a 5 amp fuse built into the positive lead. To begin this test I'm going to show you that this is a fully functional trolling motor and I've already hooked up the power to it and I'll just run through the speed settings. This is the first thing I need to do. On the bottom here, there are six screws, three on each side, and you need to remove those so the top of the head unit will come off, and that way it'll expose the switch so you can start this test. Okay, so I've removed the screws and took the top plate off and just moved it to the front of the trolling motor just to keep it out of the way. This is your speed switch. For the Newport vessels, in order to pop the switch out, I had to just unscrew this little retaining ring, which was easy. And then I disconnected the positive and the negative from the switch. And these two inputs go directly into the trolling motor, since you're going to be bypassing the switch to see if it works or not. All the electrical connections to the trolling motor have been hooked up and double checked. So the only thing left to do is hook it up to the 12 volt battery source. And because the switch is now out of the system, as soon as you apply power, if the switch is bad and you couldn't get your trolling motor to work, this test will make the trolling motor jump immediately to full speed. So just watch the prop at the lower center of this video. So as you can see it jumps immediately to full speed so if it wasn't working before with the switch that you had in your motor it's a bad switch. And I've also done another video show you how to make a jumper just in case you're using a PWM and it goes out on you when you're out on the water. So that might be something else you want to look into. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.